Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about homeotic genes in chick. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So in our last lecture, we have talked about homeotic genes. You can go through that lecture if you wish to know what is homeotic gene. And in our previous lecture, I have talked about gastrulation in chick. There you can understand what is this primitive streak, what is cola sickle and uh, what is Henson's note. So I will highly recommend you to go through that lecture if you want to fully understand today's lecture. Uh, so the links are there in my description box. Let's start today's lecture. So 70 homeotic genes are present in chicken. We will talk about few of them. First is OTX2. This is expressed in the primitive streak and Henson's node. It generates fore and mid brain and the first branchial arc. Okay. Next is Guscoid GSC. This gene is expressed in the posterior blastoderm around cooler sickle. It generates precordial plate underlying the forebrain. This one. Next is one more Guscoid gene GSX. It is also expressed in the same position that is expressed in the posterior blastoderm around collar sickle. It generates neural plate. So here we have GSX. Next is CNOT1 and CNOT2. These two genes are expressed in the posterior blastoderm around collar sickle. They generate notochord, underlying hindbrain and spinal cord. Next is Hox. It is a family which contains many genes like Hox B1, Hox A2, Hox D4, like that. These are expressed in the posterior part of the primitive tree. They generate trunk. Next is NKX2. This is expressed in the endoderm and heart mesoderm. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.